Okay, it's my first time starting one of these. Is this thing in focus? There we go. Lincoln Loud here, and welcome to a very special vlog episode. Let's call Ronnie in and get started. Lincoln, the alley cat's got in my apartment again. Call you right back. Oh, okay. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, sorry about that. Carl was walking Lalo but left the door open. The cats got inside and it was utter mayhem. Anyway, let's start the vlog. Yes, I'm very excited about today's episode because it's all about video games. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Lincoln and Ronnie Ann's next level boss battle power up video game review. Game on. We're going to review all of our favorite video games. I'll start. The first game I want to review is Breakdance Zombie Slayer Undead Boogaloo 2. This game is pretty cool. It's for the Game Glasses virtual reality system and it's a lot of fun. The object of the game is to dance and destroy as many zombies as possible. The controls are really unique and you actually work up a sweat. The graphics could use some work though. And you need to be careful when you're playing virtual reality games because you could end up in the wrong room. Lincoln! <laughs> There's only one rule in this house. Stay out of my bedroom. I'm giving this game two out of five ace salvies. That's how I score my games. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, my turn. Speaking of dance-related games, the next game we're going to review is... Dance Battle. You and I are well-versed in this game. Dance Battle starts. Oh, watch this. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh. This game is also a good workout, and I love the soundtrack. Clyde and I love that game. And the beat goes on and on, even if we get it wrong. Cause friends don't think they're just in sync. A best buds, amigos, the list goes on. I really wish they would make a home version, but this is a great game to play with a friend at the arcade. And I also heard they might be adding 12 is Midnight songs. Sid and I are so excited. I'm giving this game 3.5 out of 5 Yun Quans. That's how I score my games. Okay, Lincoln, what do you got next? All right, the next game I'm reviewing is Total Turbo 22. This game has a really cool control system because the controller is actually a steering wheel. Wow, it's just like a real spinny thingy. That's so cool. How have I never played this before? Yeah, the graphics are pretty great, and it actually helped Lenny learn how to drive. She struggled with the game a bit at first. Lenny, you have to stay on the road. But with a little coaching, she was a pro in no time. What's the point? We're not going anywhere fun. Sure we are. We're going to, uh, the mall. <gasps> Why didn't you say so? Whoa! Go Lenny! I'm giving this game four and a half out of five ace savvies. I bet you Carl would like that game but it'd have to be about driving trains. Choo-choo, chicka-chicka-chicka-chicka. Okay, next game, Muscle Fish Fighter. This game is one of my all-time faves. The graphics are awesome. The characters are so cool, and I just so happen to be very good at it. Yeah, don't remind me. I will beat you one day. You've been steamed. Whatever you say, Link. So, I heard there's gonna be some DLC coming out soon. They're going to release Sam and Slasher as a playable character. What? That's so cool. I hope they bring back Monsieur Shrimp and the Swashbuckler. CJ would love the Swashbuckler. One of my faves is Scuba Squid. I'm giving Muscle Fish Fighter five out of five Yunquans. An expert score. And speaking of Muscle Fish, his original game for the Game Bug is amazing too. You have to escape the kitchen and dodge knives and stove tops. I played so much, my mom made me stop and play sports with my sisters. Lincoln, why don't you go outside? It's not healthy to sit around playing video games all day. But between the classic nature of the game and the fact that it's portable, I give this game three out of five ace savvies. Okay, Lincoln, time for the final review. What do you got? For the final review, we have my brand new game, Total Trash Takedown. This game is trash-tastic. I've been playing nonstop. The object of the game is to defeat each level collecting rotten apples. After you beat all the levels, you make your way to the Trash Castle to defeat the Trash King. They've got some nice 16-bit graphics and the gameplay is fun and fast-paced. All my sisters actually play too. They've got obsessed with it. Watch out for that compost beast! Nice hustle, Lon! Hey! Don't go in that dumpster! 
Look for the recycling bin shortcut. That's the ticket. Oh, yeah! Level four, here we come. Woo! Team Lab for the win! Lana was even having dreams about the game. Don't you wanna play? Yes! More than anything! So between the graphics, the gameplay, and the fact that the whole family can join in on the fun, I'm giving this game five out of five A savvies. But before we go, I've got to give some honorable mention to some mobile games like Raging Rivers and Jolly Hollow. My dad loved that game. Step aside, Lincoln. We have a game Daddy will actually like. Presenting Jolly Hollow. You build a pretty, pretty house and show it off to your friends. Oh, I think I'll build one that has more than one bathroom. You know, Lincoln, reviewing video games has got me thinking. What if we made our own video games? That's such a cool idea. What would yours be? I think mine would have to be a skateboard game. Maybe a mobile game or an app. Something like an infinite runner where you have to skate through the city dodging obstacles. I would play that. You'd have to be the main character, though. <laughs> Definitely. And maybe every once in a while, a horde of alley cats comes after you and you have to dodge the obstacles before they hit you. I <laughs> wonder where you came up with that idea. What would it be called? Something simple like City Skate or Skateboard Bonanza. What about you, Link? What kind of game would you create? Mine would be an Ace Savvy and One-Eyed Jack crime detective game where you have to solve puzzles to crack cases. I could have guessed it would have been about Ace Savvy. And after each investigation, you have to fight a boss battle with one of the villains like the Card Shark or the Card Countess or Snake Eyes. Oh, man, I'm getting so excited just thinking about it. Yeah, come to think of it. All this talk about video games really makes me want to play Muscle Fish Fighter. I'm gonna go download Salmon Slasher and practice with him. Yeah, I actually just uncovered a secret level in Total Trash Takedown, and Lana and I are gonna try and beat it today. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Bye, everyone! Happy gaming! Game over. See ya!